Okay, g'day guys, uh, Andrew Dwight. Look, this is basically uh, people who are building modular uh, or are working to material sizes. So for instance, in Pluspec, you can draw a wall a kilometre long if you like. And uh, and we, in Australia, we can only buy timber six metres long or 18 foot in America or something like that. So essentially, uh, this tutorial shows you how to uh, size things to uh, make them work with standard sizes. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to uh, go to my walls here and I'm going to grab uh, my frame is what I'm going to be uh, bound by here I'm just going to go and grab a uh, just a normal timber and we'll see where you could go wrong if you're building so I'm just going to quickly just draw this couple of walls here uh, let's go here so I'm going to draw a couple of walls that are going to be over the the size that you can buy from a manufacturer standard off the shelf and that would be the same in feet and inches or whatever I'm just going to go here, here and here something very very simple now you'll notice uh, as soon as I click here it's just going to draw my frames only that's because I'm looking at it in structure mode which is controlled from uh, the scene tool okay and if I put some dimensions on here keeping in mind that the longest length of lumber we can buy well easily or efficiently is uh, six meters now I've got an 8.8 .8 there I've got several long lengths of lumber there and what I need to do is I need to know where six meters comes in so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, select all of these walls and I'm going to go and I created a special material and I'll explain this more in a moment uh, which allows me to look at lumber uh, in the maximum sizes so I'm just going to go down to my timber lumber here and I'm going to go and change this to a different size Okay, so we'll just go to here, and I'm just going to go submit. It's not actually it's changing. It's not changing the size of the timber. All it's doing is notifying me where I would need to cut the wall, because I don't want to see any red. You see, as soon as I've gone to red there, I'm over the maximum size of the lumber. So what I do is I basically select the wall walls, and I'm going to split the wall at six meters. Okay, and you'll notice that now I have no red and I have a join in my wall there. Now that's well and good when you don't have any windows or internal walls. When you have internal walls, let's we'll just surmise without me getting too caught up here. We've got an internal wall here, we have an internal wall here, and we've got to, I'll put some windows in this wall here. Because you would change the locations where you would put your splits in your walls because you don't want a split to go through the middle of a window. Right, and I'm going to put one through this wall here so we can see what we would do. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to, and have a look at it from the top down again. And you know what? You can see that we have a split there in the middle of the wall, and I don't want to have a red material. Right, so I don't want to split in the middle of the window. Let's have a look at that again. Right, so it's going to be a problem, which means that I would probably split my wall here. So I still draw the window, walls, split wall, and I would try and split it to a standard length if possible, and those little lines there are representing standard lengths. Okay, and now you can see, oh, I've still got one more red here. If I had another wall or window or whatever it might be, or I might want to make the walls more manageable lengths for the tradespeople, so I might split this one in the middle. And usually on site, they would just put a temporary prop there until they put the roof or trusses or whatever they're going to do there. Okay, and you can see now that I have no red, and it's a very good way of understanding where to split walls. So basically, if you know the lo longest length of lumber available, I'll show you how to do this in a second. Uh, and I said, okay, I always want to do it right here. You can type in six meters, or eight foot, or whatever it is, 18 foot, uh, and, and away you go. Okay. Uh, and the same would go here. Split wall. I think we get the idea. Longest length of lumber, six meters. You'll see down the bottom right hand corner, I type in 6,000 millimeters. I'm working in millimeters. Okay, and basically now I can see I've got no red. I can see I've got a little bit of red there. Uh, and I have the solution that I require, and I have my splits in the modules of the walls. Now, it might be that the, you can build a wall six meters long, however, the tradesman won't carry more than 4.2 meters. Well, then it'd be the exact same thing to put it in 4.2. How did I do it? Okay, so what I did is essentially I, I I just drew something to scale. You can see that I've just got SketchUp 
materials here and what I did is a red is easy to see therefore I put red in because I'm over the maximum size so I drew uh, a rectangle I'll show you let's move it out here like that at whatever your increments are usually a foot or two foot or 300 or 600 millimeters and I went times oops, sorry, times however many I go times five and then I, you know I, I did the same thing here just change the color basically right and then I just wrote on top of it and I took a screenshot so basically I'm using a screen capture tool now called um, snippet tool but what I'm actually making this video is, is with faster and capture so I can't use that it's a much better tool than snipping tool I go new and all I want to do is basically go to the end of my texture here okay and then I want to save it basically save it then just go to your materials inside of plus spec find where you saved it so I'm going to go back to my wall tool and I'm going to go inside of my lumber and I go create material this is plus spec 17 guys you'll see this as soon as it's out new singular material I'm going to grab my file that I, that I saved and basically uh, go and put in the sizes of the lumber so you can make this you know whether it be you know eight by two two by eights or you know 200 by 45 it doesn't matter any size timber can do you can also put in your joist bands as well so you're not going over your maximum joist band to suit floor load carry uh, it's a very efficient way of getting a lot done visually at the same time as still creating you know a, a, a model that you can do as a, a bill of quantities you know what and you can take these walls and if you had a truck I might have a truck here uh, let's have a look I'll, I'll take this file this wall here, control C, I'm just going to copy it, I think I've got a model here with a truck in it, here we do, uh, cancel, okay, and if I say pasted this, these frames, we can see how we go about fitting them on a truck, and this is important, you know, the, uh, the ability to move uh, the walls so we can figure out how much is going to fit on a truck is, is really really important just get rid of that okay move my little house over here and how would I go about fitting it on a truck I might say you know what I reckon I'll fit this one and this one move them from wherever you want to move them from and go how many of these would it take to fit onto a truck you can see I've been doing it with floors and things there before and before I know it I have all of my wall modules sitting on side of a truck and then I can figure out my delivery schedule you can push control and leave the existing walls there and bring them over as well if you wanted to like I've just done here okay and before you know it I can figure out how many materials I can fit on a truck same with these floors here over here Oops. Yeah, and you get the idea my shadows are on I probably should turn them off it's more for demonstration view okay alright guys hope it helps you out cheers